Hawaii is getting a big jolt from electric vehicles. First, Nissan's new electric car coming to the islands. Now a car maker wants to build a production plant here, combining cars and jobs for Hawaii. KITV's Paul Drew is joining us now with more on what's happening and who's coming. Paul. CTNT, a Korean-based electric vehicle company that has plans to open regional assembly fac faculties in a number of states with a mission to make cars and help the environment. Hawaii residents get a chance to get behind the wheel of these electric vehicles and try these small cars on for size. But now this company wants to produce them here in Hawaii. Their CEO signed a memorandum of understanding with Governor Linda Lingle, Very nice. Very nice. who offered her support for an assembly and sales facility on Oahu as a way to help Hawaii in more ways than one. To be a part of our vision of energy independence, to reduce pollution in the world, and to help by employing hundreds of people here in our state. Hawaii was picked for the plant because the state aims to use 70 percent clean energy by the year 2030 and because of our abundance of city driving. We're in the uh, city drive, mid-speed, low-speed uh, neighborhood electric vehicles. The speed limit here, 25 to 35, fits perfectly into our type of vehicle. The other thing that uh, is important to us is working with uh, a state that uh, adheres to the philosophies of our company as regards to the environment. The vehicles themselves range in price from eight to twenty thousand dollars depending on accessories like air conditioning, a stereo, or even a sunroof. They have a top speed of around 25 miles an hour and can go up to 80 miles on a full charge. While there is plenty of leg room and headroom, as expected, these smaller cars have very little storage space. But the company has big plans for the production of these small cars. In the area of 18 to 24 months on the fabrication of a facility. A facility the company believes would eventually employ 400 people, helping to turn out 10,000 of these cars every year. Now, the company is looking at a number of sites for the assembly plant and expects to spend up to $200 million to get it up and running here in the islands. Reporting live, Paul Drews, KITV4 News.